Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here with another scrapbook layout featuring the Daisy Meadows collection, and this time it's going to be a double page layout. I know many of you are excited about that. I was scrolling through Pinterest and I saw this layout and you know, sometimes you're like, oh, I just have to make this. So I will leave a link in the description box below to this pin if you wanna check it out. So I have all of my photos already printed. I kind of have some odd sizes here. This is the larger ones are five by three and a half ish and the smaller photos are about two and a half by three and a half. And as you can see, this is my family, my, my own kids and nieces and nephews and we were all on an Easter egg hunt. So I have two Versa mats. I've been saying I'm going to order a second one for a long time and I finally did. So when I'm working on double page layouts, I can have both of them side by side. I'm going to start with a white daisy and you can see on the top here we have this scallop border and then the pattern paper strip and it just so happens that this sticker sheet has this scallop sticker so that's going to be perfect. I do have two sticker sheets so I will have one for each side. I selected this pretty peacock paper to kind of run as a border across the top and then this is an edge distressor. Close to my heart doesn't carry this anymore. I think Tim Holtz may have one, but you can use your scissors as well. And I'm just roughing up the bottom half of this strip just to give it some interest and some texture. Now there's tiny little holes here, so I'm just using my paper piercer. I saw Katie over on her channel do this, and I thought, well, that's smart. And a few of them gave me fits, of course, and stuck to the back, so not a big deal. Just pick them off with your fingernail. And then I'm gonna bump this up, and because I'm using my Versamat, I have this grid, you know, grid lines on either side, so I can very easily make sure that this is straight. And as you can see, there's still, still some stickers I'm having to pick off there. So I wanted that kind of just layered under the bottom of this pattern paper, so I put this sticker down first, and now I'm going to layer the border piece on top. A T-square ruler works well also, and in fact, I like to use that with the Versamat because it has a little edge that it can kind of rest on and just keeps it more secure, but super handy tool. So I'm just using a little tape runner. We'll get this side over here tacked down into place. And now for my photos, I just wanna place them out and kind of just get a visual, a lay of the land, so to speak, before I start bringing in all my embellishments. So I like the way this orientation looks. The photo all the way over onto the left is the start. The kids were all lined up and we kind of give them a ready, set, go. So I feel like, you know, you read left to right. So it kind of tells the story as the layout progresses. So I brought in strips of these pattern papers. We have this cute egg pattern and then that really pretty floral pattern paper. And I'm looking at the layout and now my pieces are narrower. I already had these cut from a previous project, so I'm just going with it. It doesn't have to match the inspiration layout exactly. We're just kind of getting an idea. So I like how these are staggered in height, but I think I wanna add a little bit more detail. So I have my corner rounder. I've taken off the corner guide, flipped it over so I can see, and I'm just going to put a quick scalloped edge on the bottom of this, just lining up. Now, some of you may have an actual scallop border punch, and that would be easier, but I don't, and this tool works great, so I'm just doing it this way. I do have a craft room that is on the smaller side. I'm very thankful that I have a craft room at all, but it is small, so you know we're very selective about what gets to take up valuable real estate in my craft room. So I don't need a big border punch when this works just perfectly. On the inspiration layout, these pattern paper border strips coming down went over that top border piece, but I like the look of it coming un from underneath the border piece. So I'm using my little spatula here just to lift up that sticker. You know, when I put stickers down initially, I don't really adhere them. I just kind of lightly adhere them so they stay in place. And then at the end, I can go over and make sure everything is really good and pressed down when I'm ready to commit. So you can see I'm repeating the process on the opposite side. My scallops didn't come out quite perfectly, and so I just used my microtip scissors to trim up anything that doesn't belong. And then I decided to add um, just one rounded corner to either side of this cute pattern egg paper. 
These Easter photos were taken from several years ago, and I'm glad I hadn't scrapbooked them because, you know, Easter's coming up right around the corner. Last year, we weren't able to get together like so many of you, and I was happy to just have this memory to scrapbook and reflect on and look forward to the next time we can get together. This year, we will be having a small family get together, but not everybody's on board, so I'll take what I can get. So as you can see, I'm flipping through the Picture My Life cards here, and I love these. They are so versatile. I pulled out two of these kind of golden canary yellow, and I'm using them to map the smaller photos just to give them a little bit more presence on the page. And I like that they have different patterns. So I have Peacock Ink. What I'm going to do is run this around the border of my larger photos. I did print them on with a white margin, so I'm just barely going around the edge there, and it's going to help give it some definition and stand out against that white cardstock in the background. So it's very subtle, but if you look at the difference between the two photos, you can see it, it does make it kind of pop just a little bit more. All of these die cuts here are from the coordinating sticker sheet. I did go ahead and use my anti-static pouch and I patted the back to remove the adhesive so that I could move them around. So I'm creating a little cluster up here on the top, just like in the inspiration layout. And I like to put some embellishments over the top of my photo and some behind to create that layering effect. And now we'll repeat that on the opposite side. I have these adorable eggs and some pretty flowers, and I wanna add some greenery. You can see we have that in the right, there's the green leaves. And now I wanna add that in the left. And I do love word stickers. So this one says on a hunt, and then this one says look at this, and then the third sticker says how fun. So all very appropriate for this Easter egg hunt. So I pulled off all these tiny little flowers and I thought I would create my little banner here, but they just look kind of random. It needs something. So I'm gonna pull those off for now and here, I'll just set them right in the middle on my Versamat there because I know I'm gonna wanna bring them in somewhere. What I did is went ahead and cut a bunch of banners and triangles and I'm going to layer these along our little um, banner here. So it looks like the photos are hanging from a banner and are actually part of the banner. So these cute little flags, these were just strips of scrap paper. The bright pink with the polka dots was from a Picture My Life card. So there's no rhyme or reason. I'm just kind of layering the colors and making sure like I have pink, you know, carried across the border. You can see we started on the left and I have it over to the right there just to make sure that color is balanced. Having some of them cut as little flags and others as triangle looks uh, triangles looks really nice too. Just kind of adds some interest. And now I will stagger these flowers so they're not right in the middle of the photos, but just part of the little individual clusters in between each photo. So for my title, I'm going to bring in this dreamy holographic paper. This is so cool. I just love this, and I love incorporating it in little areas on the layout. I'm using this capital simple serif die, and I'm going to cut out all my letters. Check out that shine. It's so pretty. And with magic of editing, we have our title. Check that out, Easter egg hunt. So I wanna add a little bit more of that dreamy holographic paper. So I did cut a couple of little banners from leftover scraps after cutting my title, and I'll incorporate those into this area as well. The original title on, or the original layout had the title as part of the cluster on the left-hand side. They just kind of had it in a small scalloped oval. And I like the way this kind of hung across the top of the banner. I thought it was a really cool look and a way to bring in that holographic paper. So I am using my Tombow Mono Liquid Clear Glue to tack these embellishments down. And I'm just working, I started with the back and I'm layering to the front here because remember I removed all the adhesive off of these stickers. So now we're going to need to add some adhesive. I know many of you think that sounds crazy, but I just like to do it this way. So I am gluing these together. I'm going to add some 3D dimensional foam to some of the embellishments just to give them varied heights. I think it adds a ton of interest and I love my dimension. So I'm cutting this with my non-stick microtip scissors and we'll peel off the backing here and then layer this flower and this word 
uh, phrase right over the top there. I am in love with this paper pack. I don't know if you guys caught last week's layout. I did a single page scrapbook layout featuring this same collection and it was part of the creative design team um, Easter collaboration for March. So if you guys haven't checked that out, there is a ton of inspiration for this paper pack. Scrapbook layouts, cards, little Easter projects. You should definitely check it out. So I'm using these little enamel gems. I keep calling them gems. They're not gems, they're enamel dots, and they come in all the colors that match this layout just perfectly. So I'm adding the smallest of the um, dots just to the little different areas in the banner. Some have one, some have two, and I'm just kind of putting, uh, adding them as I see fit. I love these e little enamel dots. They're super quick and easy and just they're fun. And it's those little details that really pull a layout together. I didn't really leave a whole lot of room for journaling because I really didn't have much to say. You know, it was kind of self-explanatory with the pictures and the title. But where one of the smaller photos are, I thought if you only had five pictures, that would be a great spot for journaling. So I'll lift this up and check out that shine in that holographic paper. I know I'm kind of freaking out over it, but it's just so cool. And it comes in different tones as well. So check that out. And then we'll lift this one up so you can get a closer look. I love that adorable little bunny. He's just precious. And I love the way this turned out. That scallop detail on the bottom, I think that looks really nice. And it was so simple to do. If you guys aren't already a subscriber, I would love to have you as part of the Crafty Concepts with Erin community. I really appreciate you guys stopping by and spending time with me today. Here's some more videos I think you'll enjoy. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.